Hi everyone. Today's agenda is learning few new things about reports and dashboards. Bucket field in reports is not essentially new, but I'm still going to explain about it. Then we are going to talk about parent group well. That is nothing but if you want ratio of values on one single field, then how to do that? For that, you can use parent group val. And then there is an error that you could receive in dashboard when you use that ratio field that we are going to create using parent group val. And that, uh, and that error is to plot this summary formula select status like you can see here in the screenshot. So let's quickly begin one by one. Now, my first aim is to show you how to create a bucket field. So for that, what are we going to do is, let us say I've created a report on opportunities and I've taken three fields here. Now, let's say I am going to take one more field called page here. And let me create a bucket field on this. So let's say what I want to do is close for closed one, I want to have one bucket. For closed lost, I want to have another bucket. And for everything else, I would say that the bucket name is open. So everything else is open except closed one and closed lost. So what am I going to do is I'm going to click on this field and click on bucket this column and name it as stages. open closed okay now like i said first of all i'm going to select all the values except closed one and closed lost and i'm going to do move to and then new bucket name it as open and when i click somewhere out you see all these values got bucketed inside open. Now next is this one. I'm going to move it to new bucket again. I would call that close one itself. Here you see it's bucketed under closed one. And this one, I would also name it as close lost. And just click somewhere outside. So I have it. Now, I, all I need to do is just click on apply. So you see, besides this field, a new bucket field got created, wherein if it is closed one, it's showing as closed one, lost, it's showing as closed loss. But if it is anything other than closed one or closed loss, like negotiation, proposal, price quote, etc., I've grouped all of them into open. So my first agenda is done on how to create a bucket field. Now, my next agenda, before I do the next agenda, let me group this report by the new field that I've created. So let me say this stage is open closed. Now I have five open and 12 closed one and two, three closed lost. Now suppose I want a ratio or the percentage of opportunities that are closed one percentage of opportunities that are closed, lost, and the others which are open. Now, because when I'm checking the percentage, I'm going to do it on the same field, right? It's not two separate fields. Like, for example, what I'm trying to say here is, let's say if we are taking the amount. Uh, if I'm going to summarize, I just have these values, right? I can either get a sum of all the amounts or get average or get maximum or get minimum. But what if I want to find out the ratio? Like this is a scenario where I want to find out the ratio, right? How many percentage of the opportunities are open? How many percentage of the opportunities are closed one, lost and so on? So for that, there is a function called parent group val, which does not give you the entire ratio, but it helps um calculating the ratio so let's start here my aim is to find out the percentage of open opportunities percentage of one opportunities and percentage of lost opportunities the first thing that i would do here is 
save the report. So I've saved it and the name is opportunities report one. If I don't save it, I'll get an error when I try to save this parent group fab. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll go to summary formula. Let me do it again so I can show you. So in columns, I click on this arrow and create a add summary formula. Name it as the ratio of uh, stages. Okay. Now, I'm going to say function and parent group val. Now, what do I want to summarize for? Like the number of records, right? So, I again go to fields select the record count and insert it here instead of the summary field. Now grouping level. For grouping level, what do I want to do is I want to get the total number of opportunities which are present over here, right? So what am I going to do is in the grouping level, for all the opportunities that I want to write, there is a keyword that I'll use here called grand summary. Now, if you want to do such kind of a ratio, you need to use the exact same word called grand summary. And again, record count divide by. So let's say I have three closed lost opportunities. So this will give me three divided by as many total opportunities we have. That is what is basically happening. Let me apply. I get an error. You must select a grouping context to use any report summary function. So what am I going to do is I'm going to go to display specific groups and I want it on this grouping, right? So I'm just going to say apply. Now you see, we got 0 0.25. So there are five out of what is the total? Let's run, okay, 20. There are 20 opportunities in all. So 20, uh, like three opportunities out of 20 are closed lost. So you could see 0 0.5. Now let me convert it into percentage. So what am I going to do here is I'll click on that field and the output type I'll say, I'll make it as percentage and just apply. So here I can find out that 15% of the opportunities were lost. 60% uh, of them are uh, one and 25% of them are still open. So this is how you find the ratio. And this was our second agenda. Now let's do one more uh, summary field using the parent group value. Now let's say here I found out on the basis of record count, right? Like ratio of how many were... Uh, uh, you know, open, how many were closed, how many were lost. But let's say I want to find the ratio of amount. Like, out of the total amount that we have, which is this much, how much amount is like by open, by closed one, by closed lost. Okay. So let's create one more summary formula. Let's say ratio of amount by stages. Okay. Again, I'll be using parent. Sorry, it's a function, not a field. So let's go to function parent group val insert. Now in summary field, this time we don't want record count. We want amount, right? Sum of the amount. So I'll say amount and because it's a summary level, it is going to take the amount sum. Grouping level, again, here I'm going to say the same keyword, grand underscore summary. And again, I'll divide the sum of the amount at each stage with the total amount, that is the grand summary. And I need to, again, do it with a specific group. So because I've only grouped by one column, so I would say that. 
Now I got the number. Let me verify it and show it to you. So this is 865000 divided by 4090000 which is 0 0.21 right which is accurate. So this is what that function did. Now, again, if I want to convert this into percentage, I'm just going to go here, do a percent and apply. So out of the total amount, 21% of the amount is contributed by open opportunities, 72 by one opportunities and 6.85% by lost opportunities. So this is what was agenda number two. Now let's say I am creating one more report and this time I'm creating on lead object. Okay. Let me go to report and I've created a report on lead object. Let's say uh, I have group by lead status and subgroup on top of the status by lead owner. And then I have normal fields here and I have a ratio field. Now what have I done in ratio field is again a uh, number of records divide by the total number of records. So let me remove the unwanted fields here. Okay, so here you see the ratio. So I've done the similar thing what I've done for the opportunities. If you want, I can redo it. So let's say we want to find out how many are closed converted and how many are closed not converted. So again, I'm going to create a summary formula. Call it ratio. Uh, parent group val again. In the summary field, I'm going to say record count and in the grouping level, I'm going to say again grand summary row count divided by this parent group val. at specific groups, I would say status and apply. Oh, okay, I see. I already have a field called ratio. Let me delete that field. Okay, now it lets me save this. So I have ratio. Let me convert it into percentage and let me apply it. So 40, almost 43% of the leads are close converted and 57% are leads close not converted. Now I'm going to save this report. Now my next agenda was resolving an error that usually happens on dashboard. So let me create a dashboard. I already have a lead dashboard. Let me go there. Now, what am I going to do is I'm going to put the lead report that I created just now. So I'll put the lead report here. But you see, uh, we can't draw this chart because there is no data. So there is an error coming up. Now, what have I done here is I took this kind of a chart. Okay. Horizontal bar chart. In the y-axis, I have lead status and then sub category on the y-axis is lead owner and on the x-axis I'm trying to put ratio. Now I get this error to plot the summary formula select status. Now let me try to change the chart. I still get the same error. 
So in order to resolve this error and also to show the ratio, what solution I found out for this was when I used a donut chart, I was able to display it. So when I put a donut chart, here you can see, here you can see the ratio field, which is now on X axis. Sorry, not exact. What am I saying? Sorry. The ratio field that we calculated in the report, we are now able to display it. So how to solve that error that you were getting is, let me show that error again. To plot the summary formula, select status. So to solve that error, try using a donut chart and that will solve your error. So let me add that. Save it. And we are able to save the dashboard. So it shows me that 42% or 42.9% of the opportunities are closed, converted, and the rest of them are not converted. I hope this video helped. And if it did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.